Dear comrades and dear friends, thank you for the opportunity to contribute to this conference. Let me convey to you the solidarity greetings of the Central Committee of the Party of Labour of Austria. In addition, I would like to share with you some reflections that arise from an Austrian perspective. The issue of refugees, asylum and migration has been very important in Austria for a long time. On the one hand, Austria itself is a significant destination country. In the past, a large number of ref refugees, but also of labor immigrants, have arrived here and stayed. The Party of Labour of Austria considers it its task to take this dynamic development of the Austrian population into account. We try to organize people with an asylum or migration background in the party and its front organization. We try to cooperate with progressive migrant organizations and we naturally uh, address the issue in our political work. In this political debate, we come to the conclusion that the Austrian governments stand for an anti-human course that is directed against refugees and migrants that is xenophobic and partly racist. It doesn't matter whether the Social Democrats, the Conservatives, the far right or, as currently, even the Greens are represented in government, the asylum and migration policy remains essentially the same. It is based on defense and deterrence with fences and military patrols, with laws that make it almost impossible to obtain refugee status in Austria, with political and media agitation against foreigners, with police brutality even towards children. In addition, there are special social and labor regulations that disadvantage refugees and migrants, as well as inhumane accommodation. The government in Vienna wants as few persons as possible to apply for asylum in Austria. Most recently, they have repeatedly, explicitly refused to accept even a single person from the camps on Lesbos or from Afghanistan. In contrast, we demand a humane and social policy that conforms to human rights. The right to asylum must not be de facto abolished. Procedures must be carried out fairly and quickly. Care must be guaranteed. And people living in Austria must not be discriminated against according to origin, mother language, skin color or religion. Actually, these are self-evident things, but not in the bourgeois capitalist regime. And there is a connection here, because it is imperialism that creates the majority of the causes of fleeing and migration due to its political, economic and military actions. Imperialism is responsible, but of course it does not take responsibility. We demand fight the causes of displacement and fleeing and not the refugees. However, Austria is not only a destination country, but also a transit country. Many refugees and migrants who reach Austria actually want to go further, for example, to Germany or Sweden or even Britain. This corresponds to refugee routes that lead via Austria and come either from Italy, Hungary or the Western Balkans. Here, the Austrian government cooperates with the European Union and neighboring countries. Austrian police officers and soldiers are deployed, for example, in Bosnia, in Northern Macedonia, in Hungary and Romania to seal the European Union borders together with the authorities over there. This has disastrous and inhumane consequences. In Bosnia, there are makeshift tent camps with where people starve and freeze. From Hungary, there are constantly hidden lorry transports in which refugees are secretly brought across the Austrian border, jammed together like cattle. In this, there have been numerous crimes in which 
dozens of people died from lack of oxygen. But the government then simply blames the criminal traffickers. The truth is, it is the European Union border regime that is responsible. It is the European Union regulations that actually force refugees to take these desperate actions. For us, it is clear the existing regulations are there to prevent asylum and migration, even at the cost of human lives. We say there must be safe and legal fleeing routes. There must be the legally binding possibility to receive protection and assistance in the European Union in the correct way and in all destination countries. This means that Austria cannot pretend to be surrounded by so-called safe third countries. On the contrary, it is obvious that the situations in Greece, Turkey, Spain, Italy or the Western Balkans, for example, are unbearable. <clears throat> A European civilization would be called upon to act here in solidarity and according to the needs of the people affected. This applies to the locals as well as the newcomers. Of course, this is not happening because the European Union is an imperialist alliance that stands for exploitation, oppression and war. The European Union does not stand for human civilization but for capitalist barbarism. This can be seen in many facets, but not least in the refugee and migration policy. Dear comrades, dear friends, thank you very much for your attention. I hope I've contributed one or two useful thoughts and I wish the conference a successful course. Greetings and solidarity from Vienna. <laughs>